Hi all, so this is my review of the Disney Parks Christmas train set. Um, I'll try and keep this to five minutes because who really wants to go over five minutes to see a review on a Christmas train from Disney. So basically I thought I'd put this review up here just to help others who potentially are looking at this purchase maybe for Christmas time so they can enjoy it with the kids. So let's kind of get to the details of it. <clears throat> so it's a five carriage Christmas train. Let me just take this off. Obviously the kids are having too much fun. Five carriage Christmas train with the um, main locomotive at the front followed by this kind of tender car, coal car and then you've got quite a nice and I should probably do a close up on this quite a nice little carriage here with uh, Mickey and Minnie Donald and Daisy in a kind of Christmas setting which is quite nice and then you've got this cab at the back which in the window has a teddy bear uh, the, the chipmunks Goof, uh, Pluto and Lilo or Stitch, I don't know what the names are. Um, <clears throat> so first things first, it's a bright, colourful train, um, all plastic, quite a lot of uh, nice detail within the train. So if I turn it on, so you've got this nice light on the front, <clears throat> um, quite nice kind of silver chrome. Um, I'll probably go into, rather than kind of going into detail because it's obvious kind of, you know, what it does, it goes forward um, and make sounds. Um, like all my reviews I have been using this for over a month and um, really just wanted to give you the kind of good and bad points if you're a purchaser. So first things first, this is the controller. Um, so without the controller which is, we'll start with all the bad points and then we'll finish on the good. So without the controller the only thing you can really do with the train is start it up. Which straight away brings me on to my next bad point of how noisy it is without any music on. So although this should be quite a nice train set to enjoy at Christmas time going around your tree, in the end you just get frustrated with it um, in terms of that squeaky noise. And no matter what I've tried to do, put WD-40 on it, turn them going around the different direction, they always seem to have this annoying sound. Um, the other bad thing as well is you will notice that the train itself has this kind of oscillating effect where it goes from side to side um, which um, although for most of the time is okay if you don't have the track exactly correct so if I put something like that into the track a little defect and you can imagine that that could happen with Christmas presents or with trees then all of a sudden you get a situation such as this where the train can come off now although that's not disastrous the other bad thing is you can't stop the train with the button on the top so you either turn it off or you quickly have to grab this remote madly over the Christmas table to try and find how you stop the thing before it kind of grinds into all of your Christmas presents. Um, if I just push this back, and as you can see, pushing it backwards creates the same kind of graunching noise. Um, yeah, now the good points. So the good points are it's quite nice. I quite like this controller. So um, even when it's... Uh, turn it on. Even when it's not going, you can have just, although it is a little bit uh, painful and electronic, you can have Christmas tunes. Uh, there isn't any way to control the volume, but it's uh, quite a nice volume in which it doesn't overwhelm um, and it doesn't sit um, poorly in background music. Or, um, you've also got the main remote, so forward, stop the train, backwards, stop the train which for little kids, I'll stop that, which for little kids is uh, quite enjoyable. Um, the train as well comes with some kind of nice little um, features. So it comes with two little lamps, if I can find those, wherever they've gone, yeah. So it comes these little lamps, <coughs> which um, you simply clip on, uh, if I could, and then they go into the side of the track here. Um, and that's all you really get. You do get some straights, um, with the track and actually in a, uh, keeping on the good things on the good theme the good thing with it is that it's um, fairly big in that you can really enjoy it in terms of it kind of stretching out now, that may a good, be a good thing or a bad thing I mean the diameter here is is four foot <clears throat> so now that's probably about okay for your average Christmas tree but for others you might find that unless you live in a house like Kevin from Home Alone it's quite difficult to fit it easily and I know we found this year with a Christmas tree in the corner once a tree goes behind if you've got any issue with anything on the track it very quickly becomes painful to try and clear it up. Um, I think I'll end the review there 
Um, the overall, I think it's pretty good. It's quite expensive for what it is. If it wasn't for the carriage with Mickey and Minnie, um, I would say it's not worth the money. Um, however, uh, actually for kids at Christmas time, it's not too bad if you can deal with the squeaking. So I'd probably give it a, a 6 out of 10.